All right, next question from... Oh, this is one is actually from uh, the Aerie Lord. He says, Was there ever a university or college besides the one that you went to that you wanted to go to but you didn't have the chance? Sure. There were three of them. Two of them were called Harvard and Yale because I had straight A's in high school, I coasted through all my academics, and I was the valedictorian. Now, it's funny because I mentioned to you that I wasn't with the nerdy group of kids. I wasn't. I wasn't considered the nerdy group of kids. I was actually the enigma where I was able to ace everything, but I wasn't the kid who had my head in the books all day. I just had this natural talent to be a book-learning person. I, I would absorb things in class, I would read the books and study at home, and without maximum effort, I would able to ace everything, okay? I had extracurriculars under my belt. I was in silly things like the chess club and stuff like that, comic book club. But I was also in, I was in uh, the drama and musical clubs. And I actually had, uh, I was doing volunteer work. I was actually working at a Jewish home for the elderly that was right nearby my school. So I had like all these, this big thing of extracurricular stuff that I had built up over the time that I was in high school just for preparing for college. And I applied to both Yale and Harvard. But here's the catch. Here's the fucking catch, ladies and gentlemen. I applied for financial aid, and that was my mistake, because the bottom line is, one of two things, if I was, I was in the know, I had friends or relatives who had gone to those Ivy League schools, or if I were rich and I could have paid the entire insanely high tuition of those colleges, or if my parents were rich and were able to send, oh, we're going to just donate money to your college, please let our son in, I would have gotten in. The problem was, as I've already mentioned, I wasn't rich. I was very middle class, didn't have a lot of money, and I didn't have money to go to college. So I needed to get financial aid, and basically, just off of that premise, it wasn't my extracurriculars, it wasn't my academics, it was based off the fact that I wasn't a rich white person. I was denied entry to those colleges. It wasn't the, 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 the qualifications, because by the way, there were two or three, I think it was three kids from my high school, none of which had anywhere near my grade point average, all right? But they were into athletics. So guess what? They got into Ivy League. What the fuck? So the purpose of college is to get an education. But you admit kids to your college who aren't as smart as kids who are smart and work harder because you want them to play sports. That's how colleges work in the United States. So it's not about actually educating people anyway. It's about money. So they wanted these kids to come play sports for them so that they could make money. And they let them into Ivy League schools. And by the way, those kids are off and are rich. They're filthy rich. I tell you right now, they're all filthy rich because I know two of them, they went on to these brilliant careers and stuff that had nothing to do with fucking sports. They're filthy rich because they went to Ivy League schools. Not me. No, nope, not me. Because I wasn't in. Because I was smart. God forbid. I, I was blessed with intelligence. Not with massive athletic skills. So because of that, I can't get into a school that's supposed to be for intelligence. <laughs> there was one other college I did want to go to. Uh, it was called Boston College, and I applied to it. And similarly to uh, the school that I ended up going to, Fairfield University, um, I did get accepted, and I did get granted financial aid. But, but catch twenty two here, I was granted financial aid and a scholarship, but it was a partial scholarship. Okay, and being that this was in Boston, Massachusetts, so I would have had to move from Connecticut to Boston, Massachusetts. I probably would have, it would have been an expensive move. My parents would have had to buy a lot of things for me. They wouldn't have seen me a lot. Um, the college was much more expensive than if I had just stayed home and went to Fairfield University, okay? Um, and I wanted to go badly. I was like, man, that would have been awesome. If I moved out of my parents' place, I moved to Boston. I made friends in Boston, right? Had a life in Boston, Massachusetts, completely separate from anything in Connecticut. And maybe could have got connections there or whatever. It would have been, my life could have been very, very different. Because the bottom line is this. If I had moved out of Connecticut to Boston, Massachusetts for college, I would not have been playing Street Fighter anymore. I would have given up the competitive Street Fighter thing that I was doing during that time period <clears throat> to focus on college and making friends. And my life, I could have been, never been involved with the internet ever. Never made a video. It could have been a completely different life from where I am now. But the main decision that led to me not going to Boston College was financial because of my parents. And the bottom line is this. My parents told me, they said, Phil, we want you to go. They, actually, I take that back. They said, Philip. They always call me Philip. They never call me Phil. They said, Philip, we want you to be happy. We want you to go where you want to go. So if you want to go to the more expensive college, we are absolutely willing to let you go. But understand, you know, it's a more financial burden and everything and yada, yada, yada. And I looked at the options, okay? And I said, well, 
If I go to Fairfield University, I'll have this much of a loan that I'll have to take out in my name. If I go to Boston College, I'll have this much of a loan that I'll have to take out in my name, which was a much higher loan. Plus, the financial burden on my parents was going to be more initially to even pay the tuition because, like I said, the scholarship that I was offered for Boston College was much less than the, the one that I was offered for Fairfield University. And there was also the fact that at Fairfield University, I'm at home, so I'm not paying for room and board, I'm not paying for tons of moving costs or anything like that, versus everything moving to Boston would have been very expensive. So I looked at everything and I said, potential new life, restarting my own life in Boston, but financial burden on both me and my parents for an extended period of time for my own personal whatever, pleasure, gain, whatever you want to call it, or biting the bullet, staying home, kind of just doing what I was doing all along, you know, being a street fighter player and all of that, but also going to college and maybe getting a job around here rather than going to Boston and starting a new life. And yeah, there would be financial burdens, but it would be much less on myself and my parents in particular pay much less money for me to go to Fairfield University than it was for Boston College. And I said, you know what? I'm going to do the right thing. Not thinking of myself. And I decided to go to, to Fairfield U instead. So I had the opportunity to start a whole new life, and I gave it up because I didn't want to put that kind of crazy burden on my parents. Now, who knows what would have happened? I could have went to Boston, and it totally no it could have went wrong, too. I could have went out there and hated it, and now all that money, you know? I don't know. I don't know. You never know. You can't really second-guess yourself in life, right? If this was only a video game where you could go back to that critical choice, make the other choice, and play it out and see how it would have happened. But that's not it. This isn't Life is Strange, you know? We can't rewind and see what would have happened. You know, I could have been a crazy different person right now than I am if, if that were the situation. I don't know. But there's your answer.